all you need to start doing is building your new life, starting today and moving forward. Wipe the slate clean. What kind of work do you want to be doing? Where do you want to be living? Who do you want to be? You start really investing in yourself. You start building. Get out of the ruins. Get out of the ruins of what's gone and start building the new city. Good morning, mamas. Today, we are intentionally showing up as the woman that we aspire to be, that we dream to be, the woman that we are constantly thinking of ourselves to be in our head. Today, we're going to take action and create habits that she is going to do on a daily to get us a little bit closer to being her. You have to intentionally start with these habits, so they may be practiced at first, but eventually it'll be an everyday thing and your subconscious won't even think twice about it. Start off my day with getting into my devotion journal very much needed i feel to start and end your day with something for your mental before you go to bed if you journal when you wake up when you journal doesn't have to be a super strict routine first starting off because for me this is new to me i have to intentionally remind myself to do this it has to be something that i want to do because it naturally does not come i used to be a girl that reached for her phone and get on social media when i first wake up but i try to get away from that because Mostly what I see on social media is not feeding anything to my soul. So after wrapping up my devotion, I jumped into trying to find something to eat and also taking out something to cook for dinner that was more on the healthier side. So I found the smoothie, these pre-packaged smoothie um, fruit frozen packs and then some chicken thighs. You guys will see later what I make with the chicken thighs, but I went ahead and just did the smoothie for breakfast. So I added some collagen into the smoothie, which is really good for your hair, skin, and nails. Like I said, y'all, I'm new into this like supplement thing, so help your girl out if you have any suggestions. I really want to have a cleaner eating lifestyle adjustment. I really try to get away from saying diet because diet just sounds temporary, but maybe I should just start like with the diet and then work into the lifestyle change. I'm a breakfast girl, but I'm not a breakfast girl. Like sometimes I can go until lunchtime without eating and other mornings I'm like I'm just gonna eat like right now like I'm starving but today I just went with the smoothie and called it a day which was pretty good I enjoyed it If you're a mama into self-love, self-care, and looking for a form of motivation to just being that girl while still being a mom, this is the place for you, and I highly suggest that you subscribe. So, you guys seen a little bit of my morning and how I'm starting to try to create healthy habits for myself. I'm not a banana girl, but this tastes really good. Um, and I did put the collagen in it. I need to research and learn some more supplements. Um, I've been meaning to do that. I just haven't. So if you guys know any good supplements that I can start taking, or there's pills, powder. I'm really not like a liquid, liquid girl. Like I don't want to do the shots. But hey, I heard like ginger shots and stuff like that. Like are really good for you. So put them down in the comments and let me. Let me know. You guys know we family, so we had to help each other out. But I'm feeling pretty good this morning. If you guys seen in my last video, my last vlog, I shared that I was like kind of in a funk. And I'm like just trying to push myself out of it. Um, I like sharing authentic things. Like I don't want to just appear to be like this girl to have life like all put together. I'll figure it out because... I'm the furthest thing from that. I used to think that that was necessary, like to try to portray yourself that you didn't have problems or you didn't have issues. Like that was kind of my old mindset. Um, but no, <laughs> it's for one, it's not my life. Secondly, it's fake as hell. And thirdly, it's just, it's unhealthy. Like it's unhealthy because I feel like I'm, when I used to think like that, like younger in my early 20s, like it did nothing for me. It did nothing for me facing my realities. And I feel like that's kind of why I may struggle with some of the things I struggle with now because my mindset was so used to being a certain type of way. And I 
just start trying to break it like in the last like few years but it's still a process you know but yeah I'm ready to just continue having a good day. We have a workout class later tonight, which I'm so excited about. I have not worked out or did anything in regards to fitness since way before I had Mason. Mason is going to be seven months tomorrow, which is crazy. Seven months. It's insane. Um, and then I was pregnant for nine months, a year. So that's like, that. do the math. That's been a long time. So I know it's going to be... It's going to be a struggle for me. Um, getting in a waist trainer, like working out, keeping up and everything. But hey, you have to start from somewhere. You have to start from scratch if that's where it's at. And get it done. Get it done. So I'm hoping that I like the gym that I go to. And it's a cool, you know, like friendly experience. It's like a private owned like studio. It's not like a LA Sports or X Sports or anything like that. LA, LA Sports. LA Fitness. Um... But yeah, so this is my breakfast. Y'all know that I made that Sunday dinner yesterday. Um, today is Monday, um, President's Day, and I'm like looking over there at that food, like the cornbread and the greens. The greens, I mean, greens is pretty healthy. And the mac and cheese, like I really want to eat it, but I'm gonna just do this. And then I took out some chicken thighs um that i'll be cooking for like lunch dinner type of situation i have to go back into the office on um wednesday so i'm kind of like doing like a fake like meal prep or whatever so i'm going to do the chicken i may just dice up and do some like roasted potatoes because potatoes go bad like really quick and i bought a whole bag so i'm trying to make use of it or i make like i'll make mashed potatoes with it and then i brought like some ginger veggies that i'm really excited to try and we'll have that and i'll pack myself up a lunch with that pack up matthew a lunch as well and then i will probably have that for lunch today if i don't just like have a bowl of greens or something um, or a salad. I have salad in there too. But we'll see. I just want to come on here and say hey. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. Um, I'm excited to be posting two videos in one week. I'm going to push myself to do that. I feel like one video is cool, but it's just not enough. It's not my presence is not strong enough for me to truly connect with people and grow my audience like I want to. So we are aiming for two videos a week. I'm excited for us. I love that for us. Like I get to talk to y'all maybe try twice a week. That is a vibe. After a long, exhausting work day, I'm like, I'm so excited. We're finally going to the gym. I'm excited but nervous. Like, you know, like a bittersweet feeling. Because I have not been in the gym since way before having Mason. Like I was on and off with a personal trainer for about two to three years. And I mean, I was in a decent shape I guess decent size but still like not in my goals y'all this is my old waist trainer from back when I was with that trainer and when I say I was fighting for my mother effing life and my R. Kelly boys I was fighting for my life putting on this waist trainer because that is how how much weight I've gained like it was crazy but hey I put it on and we off to the gym so of course before leaving the house I had to get some hydration because I knew I was going to be exhausted at the gym trying to keep up with all the workout girlies. Alright y'all so I just made it to the to the gym like I'm not at a gym gym like a LA exports type of place. I'm at a like private this girl I follow her on Facebook like me and her friends are on Facebook and I always see her promote and she's like a personal trainer and she has her own like studio. And I always seeing her promoting it. So I'm like, I want to go. So um, I'm here. I have about 10 minutes until the class starts. It starts at 7. It is 10 minutes till. Um, this is me definitely stepping out of my comfort zone. Like not going to the classes. I've been to several workout classes. But going by myself. Like I normally have somebody come with me. But as you know, we're creating habits and ways to becoming the woman that we want to become which includes me like stepping out into things on my own and not waiting for anybody to join me or come with me or anything like I just want to do things solely by myself and I'm sure I can meet other people while I'm here people parking next to me on the day like what is this girl doing um yeah <laughs> I'm blocking but I'm gonna get ready to go in I know I'm gonna be exhausted me putting on this waist trainer was it was a struggle and now I see girls getting out the car 
with their um with their yoga mats and I did I had a yoga mat at home I did not bring it so I hope they have like some extras but yeah let's go ahead and get into this get into this fitness this workout class we made it y'all our first workout class since <laughs> since Mason since before 2021 early early 2021 but look at my hip dips I hate hip dips y'all and I was told by the trainer it's really nothing that you can do to get rid of them do y'all have hip dips how do you feel about them I'm not a fan if I can pay somebody to get rid of them I would I'm sorry I'm not gonna lie to you I really don't like them at this point I was dead this is an hour workout of hip cardio and it was hitting it was hitting real hard I was hanging on by a limb but I made it through and I'm so proud of myself Straight home into the shower, of course. I was looking forward to just cleaning and cleansing my body because that workout, you gonna feel the, the need to get in the shower. So I've been using a few different body products, um, hygiene products. I plan to maybe do a shower routine coming up. If you guys are interested, I'll be more than happy to jump into that. But I use my shower time to really reflect on myself, reflect on my day. You guys know I'm a podcast loving girl. So I did have a podcast playing um, while in the shower and it was so rejuvenating for my soul and my mental to just kind of close out how today went and try to get my thoughts together for tomorrow. I'm in a phase in life of a lot of like self-reflecting, reflecting how I can be the best version of myself for myself but also for other people for my kids for my fiance for my family for my friends co-workers just anyone that has to be involved with me I want to make sure I'm putting out the best version of me to the world um, because that's that's what I want like I want when people think of me to just think positively like Lana is just a positive person she always is a vibe she always is so motivational and inspiring that's the woman that I am aspiring to be. I don't want people to think of me and think of drama and girl look at me hitting this TikTok dance. I'm gonna do it every time. <laughs> time to cook y'all. So this was not what we were eating for dinner. This is actually me prepping my lunch and Matthew's lunch for the next day. He wants me to start making his lunches and I think that's such a, like a wifely duty so I'm gonna do that every time. So I'm making um, chicken thighs. It's the same chicken thighs that I took out earlier. Just seasoning with my regular chicken. I mean chicken. My regular like go-to seasonings: seasoned salt, garlic pepper, salt pepper, accent, and a little bit of lemon pepper. Because this was gonna be like lemon pepper chicken that I was gonna throw into the air fryer. Y'all, it turned out so bomb. I have not cooked chicken thighs in so long, and I've been so sleep because this is like. Chicken thighs is a cheaper selection as far as like how much they cost compared to like chicken wings and chicken breasts. If you want a more affordable option, get the thighs, get the thighs. And then we went into getting some jasmine rice. I love jasmine rice. I no longer eat or buy regular white rice. It's just a no for me. Jasmine rice only. What I really enjoyed about this meal, it was a quick 30 minute meal. Everything was literally done within 30 minutes. The chicken you just pop right into the air fryer for about 20 minutes and then you put the rice in the rice cooker. So for the chicken about midway through I took it out and added butter and squeezed some lemon juice on top. Remember we said this is going to be some lemon pepper chicken and y'all this really enhanced the flavor so much. Make sure you go get this ginger garlic veggie mix from Walmart. Oh my god. This was everything. So quick and so freaking good I'm, I'm my mouth is just watering as i'm looking at this footage because i wish i had some more i only bought one bag because this is my first time trying it and i wanted to make sure i like it and how about i love it 10 out of 10 would highly recommend you can make this exact same meal as me using these veggies you could do do a stir fry you could do it with salmon shrimp i have like so many recipes in my head of how i'm planning to use these veggies So as we come to the end of this video, I'm just packing up the food here. I want to leave you guys with something to think about, something to leave on your soul. Everything that you see me do in this video, you can do the exact same thing plus whatever other habits you need to incorporate into your daily tasks to show up to intentionally be the woman that you want to be. It won't happen overnight. 
you getting that new car will not change your mindset you getting that new house will not change your habits if you are not taking day-to-day -day tasks to actually be that version you have to think like an athlete lebron james and not become lebron james overnight y'all you know he has to practice 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 and mental is the same way emotions is the same way and habits is the same way I hope that you guys have the most amazing week. I love y'all and I will see you Thursday because I told y'all we here for two uploads a week. Yes, two uploads. Bye mamas.